attack. But the account has been relative, relatively quiet since then. We've noticed that. So they've been publishing a lot of photos, and now they've stepped back, publishing only official photos like this one, about four of them with a more official tone since that time, but Instagram being used by the Assad regime to get their message out. Nero fiddled while Rome burns, and he takes pictures while gassing people. The Pledge of Allegiance could be changed forever at public schools in one state, as the highest court in Massachusetts takes up the case of an atheist couple. They're fighting to remove the phrase, under God. Molly Lyon, live in Boston with more on that. So what happened in court today, Molly? Well, the oral arguments were held today, and they were, of course, about something that generations of school children are intimately familiar with, the Pledge of Allegiance being led by a teacher at the beginning of the school day. It's more than tradition. In Massachusetts, it's the law. This case uh, before the Massachusetts Supreme Court was brought by an atheist couple with their children against the Acton Boxborough Regional School District. With the support of the American Humanist, Humanist Association, they're challenging the use of the words under God in the pledge, arguing that this phrase and the repeated pledging violates the Commonwealth's Equal Rights Amendment. Here's David Neosi. If we want to be inclusive, we would just say one nation indivisible. By injecting under God into the middle of that, we are really excluding a large, important part of the demographic in this country. The lower court ruled against the couple in this case, uh, determining that there was no violation of state law or the school's anti-discrimination policy. John? And the defendants uh, are seeking to preserve the pledge? Absolutely, and early on there was another couple that joined this case uh, seeking to defend the pledge. They were joined by the uh, school district, uh, uh, they joined the school district rather, and uh, along with the Knights of Columbus, they're being represented by the Beckett Fund for Religious Liberties, and they argue that this pledge is voluntary and that it is not inherently religious. This country is about diversity and about the ability of children to voluntarily participate in that diversity. Silencing children simply because there is a disagreement of views is entirely un-American and unconstitutional. Now, we don't know when the opinion will actually be rendered by this court. Uh, they'll be looking things over and we will keep you posted. John? Please let us know what happens. Molly Lyon in Boston. Thank you. Well, she won over audiences as the star of Rhoda, and as she battles brain cancer, we're going to tell you how Valerie Hart